everybody my name is rosie and welcome 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 to my channel how are you all i hope you're all doing really really well the pugs licking my leg what's new um i have it's quite a long period of time i think really but i picked up a couple of beauty buys and it never feels right unboxing things and putting them away without showing you guys first so they've been sat waiting for me and I thought I'd share them with you. Just show you what I got recently. It won't be a very long haul, but I do like to show you everything that I buy. Um, before we get started, I do have two little pugs, Peggy and Lola. Lola's not been feeling the best recently. I did speak about that in my recent catch-up haul. Not catch-up haul, catch-up video. Um, and Peggy's currently licking my hairy leg. What's new? So you'll hear all sorts of noises coming from them underneath the camera. But we have got the beauty crop, some newness from the beauty crop. We have got doll beauty we've got some amazon prime deals they had a crazy sale on recently i personally don't have prime but anytime i want anything from amazon i send it to my mum and she buys like buys it for me and i transfer her the money so a couple of bits from there um doll beauty hair burst bit tiktok shop so i just thought i'd share it all with you so let's start with the beauty crop because they are my favorite brand um, and they got some newness out However, I had a bit of ag where the first delivery they sent this out in wasn't in a box, it was in a bag and it came ripped open with uh, royal mail tape all over it and yeah, uh, it only a couple of bits were actually in here and I'd lost a load of it along the way so I finally managed to get that re-sent out. They have a thing with um, the beauty crop, a lot of websites have it now, you pay like a pound something for protection lot easier to get your stuff sorted out if it does go missing in the post or whatever and it was pretty um easy to sort out and once they agreed to send me the rest of it you have to send pictures and i always find that weird like send a picture of the inside of the packaging i thought what is that going to achieve you know if i'm lighting i'm just going to take things out aren't i but anyway so i thought i'd share with you what i got from there so they had little bundles they often have bundles on their website um so sometimes it's worth looking to see if buying the item alone on the sale i got i always have 25 percent off as well because they have like a tier system and because i buy off there regularly because they are my favorite brand and i love like cleansing balms and their face mist as you guys know i speak about them all the time and um, you build up points so i often have like 25 percent off to save and then they have like sales and bundles on all the time so it's often worth having a look to see if it's cheaper to get a bundle if you want the bundle or cheaper to buy things on their own Sometimes it works out different each time, but they had this new little bundle. I can't remember what came with what. I was also meant to get a free item, which got lost in the post. But honestly, it was just one of their lip balms, and I'm not keen on them because they're coloured and they're really brightly coloured, like reds and stuff. And I, I wasn't bothered about that anyway. So I don't know what I've got in a bundle. I don't know what I did. So I'm just going to talk you through. So first thing is these little dewy bounces. These were definitely in the bundle. They're a little cushion puff set. So, I've seen these, but I haven't tried them from other brands. I can't remember what brands I've seen other people using them of. I can picture pink ones, but I can't think. Anyway, I haven't used these yet. Oh, wow, they feel lovely. So, as always, they've got a little bit at the back, but they are these really cushiony little sponge sets. I don't know if they're a bit like beauty blenders. I think people say that you can use them dry and wet, and you've got a little mini one. How adorable is that little one? ignore my nails they have been on for a month i need to get them soaked off i just haven't had time so it says cushion puff set <laughs> set of two cushion puffs discover the secret to effortless makeup application with our versatile cushion puffs designed for both wet and dry use these multifunctional tools sorry this multifunctional tool is perfect match for the dewy bounce skin tint and concealer its unique texture allows you to achieve a flawless radiant finish every time so yeah a bit like a beauty blender but like this i wonder what they'd be like for powder they feel a lot more like beauty blender blender <laughs> blender beauty blender material than like your other like velvet puffs so anyway, let me know if you've tried any of those. I'm intrigued. It says, depend on the desired coverage, these puffs can be used either dry or damp. Use the large puff for applying skin tint and the smaller one for concealer. Oh, they say it can be used for powder application. Okay, well, we'll see anyway, but I got those two little poofs. Next up in that new range is what they're talking about. They have a new skin tint. This is the Dewy Bounce SPF 30 Radiant Skin Tint. Now... 
I do like a skin tint from time to time. I am usually a foundation girl. I've been using the brand new, I should have included in here. Let me go and get them actually. Just me giving you a speech about how I don't like to use anything before I show you. But I did actually get two of the new H&B Cosmetics foundations because these went down to nine pounds on TikTok shop. They're usually 20 pounds each. I didn't know what shade to get. I did do a bit of research and I ended up getting MF5N and MF10W and I mix them both together. Uh, this one will be great in winter when I'm really pale. This one, I'd have to be very tanned, I think. Anyway, I use like just a bit more than a pump of this one and a pump of this one and I mix it with their like skin radiant glow Charlotte Tilbury dupe stuff and I love it. It's what I'm wearing today. It's a really lovely foundation. It's full coverage light matte so it is a matte foundation but it doesn't feel overly matte i still powder it down because i have oily skin it's like a, it's still got a luminosity to it i know i've got like other makeup on top powders and stuff um but i highly rate this if you can get it for nine pound absolutely i mean 20 pound still good but i do think 20 pounds is a lot for a foundation if it's in your budget great if not keep an eye out on tiktok shop see if you can get it on an offer um i if it went down to nine pounds again i would try and find a shade between these two and i'd definitely get it but now i have two i'm not going to spend i'm not going to buy an, uh, another one for 20 pounds because these will last me ages i love the packaging it's really really nice it's much nicer than that other foundation i have the other foundation i think i've used it two or three times i'm not that keen on it but this one i really really like and i've used it loads i use it most days i use it for work i use it just like just every day I would even use this for going out as well. I prop I do love my favourite foundation for going out. Not that you're here for this video, but my favourite foundation for going out, and it has been for a couple of years now, is still the Huda foundation. I love it. It's a really nice, thick, full coverage foundation, but it's really light wearing. Uh, it's perfect for my skin because I do have acne prone skin. I need a foundation that's going to cover my acne, right? Um, but not be too cakey, not be too heavy, and I love that for that. But this is really really fab and I'd, I'd imagine this would be nice mixed with the Huda as well. I love mixing my foundations. So yeah, really really highly recommend that. But anyway, that's what I've been using recently. Getting back to the skin tint situ. Is I do love a skin tint but only do I get to use them very rarely when my acne is not bad. So when I got back from holiday, I'm so sorry, Peggy is licking my foot. Peggy, can you stop? Because I know that you're going to be able to hear that on the camera. Now she's licking my leg. So yeah, when I got back from holiday, obviously because of the sun, my skin was really good. I have my scarring still, but no active acne. Like my skin was really nice and it was probably like that for another week or so afterwards. And now I've got my nice big cystic acne spots back. I've also been on my period for like two weeks now. And I was on my period my whole of the holiday. Whole of holiday. And I hate using tamps. But obviously had to use tamps the whole time. And uh, now I'm back on my period and I've been on for ages. It's so annoying. Anyway, so on the odd day that my skin is nice, I do like to use a skin tint. What one have I used recently, which I like? Fine one is uh, it's not nearly enough coverage for me. If you want something with absolutely no coverage, I've nearly finished a bottle of that, but it's not really that ideal for me. But there was another one I was using. I can't remember what it was. Anyway, this is very runny. This I got in Praline. It's very runny. Okay, that looks nice. Oh, it's blended out lovely. And just gives like a little bit of coverage, but look, you can still see my blue veins through there. So that's gonna be when I really want, when my skin's good, honestly, which isn't very often, a couple of days a month. But when it is quite good, I'll still spot conceal my acne scars because I have acne scarring. That is very light really goes into nothing so if you like a hardly barely there makeup you'll probably love that one and it's like i say it's got an spf 30 and that's a really good shade for me it says it's a dewy, dewy and radiant finish hydrating and lightweight buildable long lasting coverage okay so it says you can build it okay and sun care and skin care and it's with ceramides peptides and hyaluronic acid so I'm looking forward to a good skin day where I can use that properly. And then I've got their concealer. And this is very light. This is in frosting. A bit too light. Honestly, their shade range isn't that great. And I didn't know what to get. But this says it's a brighten and radiant finish. Elastic second skin. 
elastic second skin effect, I don't know what that means. Buildable long lasting coverage and skincare ingredients and again it has the same ingredients in it and it's a radiant concealer. Um, I would probably use this right on the inner corner because of how light it is and then use a different colour concealer on the outside just to get that blend. Um, but yeah, that's that. Then from the same range, I got this hydrating serum primer and it is a with snow mushroom oh snow mushroom ceramide and hyaluronic acid fragrance free and it's yeah a hydrating serum primer probably something i'll be more likely to use in the winter time so this is what that looks like it's a very light color i love the green actually with the glass it's just like a white oh that feels lovely and just blends into nothing again probably better for dry skin i have oily skin still need that hydration doesn't smell of anything it's definitely fragrance free um but i do prefer a gripping primer i love their red gripping primer i'm wearing it today i wear it a lot um but we'll see i'll need to test it out i don't know we'll see and then the last thing I got from that range is the Dewy Bounce Seal and Set Mist. I love their setting sprays, so definitely wanted to try a new one that they have. Their spritzes on these are lovely. I use the milky one the most. Um, suitable for all skin types. Again, it's got the snow mushroom hyaluronic acid and niacinamide in it. It's 100 ml. It just says, our weightless alcohol free set and mist helps to set and seal your makeup for all day and all night wear. This multitasking mist harnesses oh it's got writing right across that's so annoying yeah it harnesses advanced technology and skin nourishing ingredients to create a long lasting dewy complexion infuses snow mushroom extract and hyaluronic acid it hydrates and revitalizes your skin mm, it's got a little light scent but not very much and the mister is the same as always i've already got their milky set spray on today and I've been bitten by something and um the red one the wee shiri one I like to put that one on over the top for just a little bit of glow and the milky one to hold my makeup on so yeah excited for it I love the packaging it's really cute and just like another set and spray then this is a vitamin bay but this is an spf 31 so i thought it'd just be really great for when i'm out and about and just need to top up my spf so it is a spf 30 set and spray and also because i'm oily i just thought it'd be really good to have a set and spray to put on over my makeup and then can keep topping up like keeping the makeup in place throughout the day but using an spf 2 say goodbye to harmful uv rays with our revolutionary spf 30 setting mist enriched with skin loving antioxidants includes vitamin c and vitamin e so yeah i am again same packaging as the other ones i love these misters i actually have kept a few of them and put in other sprays that i've got into these misters because they're so nice but i really wanted to try their um new spf one and the last thing i got from them is their beauty crop hydrating hair and body fragrance mist this is wee Cherie fragrance mist what the bottle looks like cute and i guess it's just like a body spray like a hair mist body spray oh yeah it smells really nice it's like sweet oh here we go notes of cherry brazilian orange mandarin jasmine pink pepper and sandalwood mm. it's giving me like sol de janeiro knockoffs it doesn't smell like sol de janeiro but you know like we're all loving that, that body sprays like mists this is for your hair as well as your body um i don't know if it's got like a bit of an oily feel to it i can feel something i don't know if it's that also i think it is that i'm sure that will just dry down um, but it smells really delicious very sweet and i just thought it was, like really cute next up i got this on tiktok shop i can't remember how much oh yeah it was really cheap i what i bought their foundation brush which i've been wanting for ages i've got the jumbo one which i've recently started using for foundation very good and i just want the small one i've been trying to get it for years but i don't want to pay full price went down to eight pound on tiktok shop got delivered with this and they sent me the wrong brush no you're like for fuck's sakes so now i need to send it back to get my eight pounds back which normally i'd be like i really can't be bothered but i don't want the brush it's just like a normal like buffer brush not a buffer brush like a tapered blending brush that you'd maybe use for like a powder blush or 
a bronzer, a brush that honestly I'm just not going to use. I want the, the uh, foundation brush. That was really disappointing. But with that, I got this little set. And so you got this little bag. I was hoping that you'd get their sheet masks in it. Someone I watched a review said they got this little kit. The description didn't say you get the sheet mask, but the pictures look like the sheet masks were in the background. So I was like, oh, I hope you do. You don't. But someone in a recent empties video that I watched, because I love watching smaller YouTube's empties videos, was saying how much they loved their masks and they were so much nicer than any other masks they'd used. Um, but anyway, I didn't get it. So in this little bag, you get their new perfecting primer. This is Doll Beauty, by the way. Can't remember if I said that or not. I really do like Doll Beauty. I use their blushes daily. Anyway, this has really great views as well, but the reviews that I have seen on t are on TikTok, and I'm always a little bit skeptical of reviews I see on TikTok if people have got like the shops and stuff or the links even sometimes. And listen, I put, I don't know where I got to because my memory card got full and I wasn't looking, but I always feel a bit skeptical about reviews on TikTok versus YouTube. I don't know, I feel like it's a lot easier for people to be a bit disingenuous and not there's not long enough to have a full review right on TikTok. Whereas even though I put links down in my description box on YouTube, I'm still honest with my opinion and if you like it great and if you don't that's fine too. It's just a bit different on TikTok shop. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, this is the Dolly Prep Perfecting Primer. And I don't think they've ever had a primer, but the reviews that I have seen are good. I just hope that they're genuine reviews, you know. This is what it looks like. It looks like a silicone based primer, which I'm not usually my favourite, and honestly, smooth skin, blows in perfection, and hearts his makeup. This is what the little thing looks like. Oh no, it's like a gel. Oh, okay. I feel better about that. Oh, that sinks in really nice. I'm glad it's not like silicone y. It has a slight smell, not much. Oh yeah, it has like a nice tack to it. Okay, high hopes for that, hopefully. That'll be nice. I love playing around with new skincare and primers and makeup. And then with that came this new setting spray. Now it's gonna be fun for me to try a new setting spray because all I have used for probably like the past year, if not longer, is the Beauty Crop setting sprays. I haven't used anything else, apart from a little bit of iconic um, prep set and glow if I want a little bit of a shimmer. Packaging on this is really nice. I don't think you'll be able to see, but the, it looks like really nice. Like it's got like a bit of a shimmer to it. So this is the uh, Super Fix Spritzer Setting Spray. Enhanced longevity and durability of makeup. Refreshing hydration, locks down flawless makeup. So yeah, I'm excited to try a new setting spray because I have been very loyal to the Beauty Crop for a long time now. I dread to think how many I've got through of those. Look at this packaging. That is so cute. So I wouldn't have bought this full price. I wouldn't have bought this kit full price. Um, I got it really cheap on TikTok. Let me have a look at how much I paid for it. Okay, so that set is £45. It was £50, £45, but I paid £15. Yeah, for those two and that bag, £50. And at the moment, the offer's on £45. And then I paid £15.95 I got it for. Yeah, I wouldn't have paid that much for it. And then the brush was £8, but yeah, anyway. This is what it looks like. So cute. Love this bottle. You get 120 mil. Good size. Okay. Oh, it smells nice. Mister seems quite nice. Okay. It's a tiny bit more aggressive than the Beauty Crop ones, but it's still nice. So I'm excited to give that a proper go. I love that bottle like a little tablet isn't it so cute so yeah that's that then if you watched my recent put my phone down oh sorry about peggy then if you watched my recent couple of videos i had been working with hair burst i'm not anymore but i've really enjoyed what it's done for my hair so i bought my own stuff from them so I, I thought i'd quickly just show you so i done a subscription and i got three lots of the gummies i really feel like this is probably what's helped my hair the most which makes sense in my mind because you're taking them internally right and my hair um has really improved 
there's a whole backstory if you haven't watched my other videos so i'll link them down below my hair was like snapping off falling out um and it's been loads better recently so i got a three months worth of the gummies i've got about half of one left again these are bought with my own money i do have a discount code i will link it down below but this is not working with them at all um i've stopped working with them now it was just for three months that i was but i'm going to continue to use their stuff so i got three lots of the gummies if you get like a three month subscription it works out cheaper i also used my own code on top of it saved a little bit more money i then got a real refill of the shampoo and conditioner it's all i've been using for the last three months now a bit longer and again it's been working so i'm going to continue to use it it's about i think it works out like 13 pounds each but again i have 20 percent discount code so i got extra money and i think buying it like this you get a little bit cheaper as well can't remember exactly the price but definitely cheaper than a lot of other shampoos and conditioners i was buying to try and resolve this problem and then with that i got free this hydrating and balancing scalp tonic which is something that i've not used before so i'm really excited for this it says it's with hyla um it says it's got hyaluronic acid and niacinamides in it and it just says it's a deeply hydrating and soothing scalp tonic that rebalances ph levels whilst nourishing and hydrating a dry itchy scalp creates a healthy and optimum scalp environment for hair growth god if it's not my memory card being full then it's my battery dying um i do feel like that spray has left like a bit of an oily consistency it's not necessarily bad but i can feel that spray in my hair not sure if i would use it on my hair anyway um i don't know where i got for this but basically if you've got dry scalp it's a hydrating treatment for that and it says on wet or dry hair apply one to two drops in each section of the scalp and massage in do not rinse so maybe a little bit similar to their serum i absolutely love that serum but that's bloody expensive um here's what it looks like i don't have a dry or itchy scalp but i feel like this will still be great to use regardless it's got coconut scent but it doesn't smell exactly the same as their other ones so yeah i'm excited to try that and that was free i got that for free I spent over a certain amount I'll link everything I can down below, guys. And then lastly, just off Amazon, just a couple of bits from Amazon. Firstly, I got two of these mouthwashes. I got this blue one and I got a green one. Now this is by The Breath Co, dentist formulated fresh breath oral rinse. Now I saw someone else mention this in their empties haul and they said how good it was. I'd never seen the brand before. The one I've got on the go at the moment is mild mint really doesn't taste it very much um and this one is invigorating icy mint i didn't know which one to get and they've gone down to five pounds each you get 500 mil in here now this apparently was formulated by a man who's and the story's in the back i actually haven't read it um but the lady who's video i saw it in initially because i've never seen it before said and yeah it says to help his own daughter with her bad breath and basically it's a really i've got hair on my nose it's a really subtle mouthwash like you kind of think how is this doing anything um but it stops your breath from being smelly for like the whole day i've only used it twice i haven't noticed that my breath tastes bad or anything um not that i necessarily tend to have that problem but i just wanted to try a good mouthwash out so i thought i would try these so far so good but they will be in my empties haul and i thought definitely worth giving a try at that price i then just got my standard hay fever tablets these went down to pretty cheap and these are the ones that i use all the time and then just two more items it's firstly i got the garnier super uv over makeup mist so that's a 50 spf and then i got the another one of the panorama mascaras i'm using this one at the moment it's been really good it's coming to the end of its life so i thought i'd pick up another one and uh, it's just in black and it's been a really nice mascara i've been using it every day for the last couple of months and i would recommend it so it was really cheap on their amazon prime deals i think it was like five pounds everything here was like five pounds so this was five this was five i think the tablets were four and the mouthwashes were five each but yeah, that's everything that I bought of my random bits and bobs hauls. Like I said before, I just like to share with you everything that I buy. It doesn't feel right not to. But thanks so much for watching. Any recommendations down below, I always love to hear from you. Give me all your comments, all your thoughts and opinions. I love it. And as always, I look forward to the next one. Thanks guys. Bye. Woo!